Okay, so uh, my class did really well on the first three questions, so I didn't go through with them. But uh, here I am doing the first three of the summer 2015 S1 paper with my, uh, on my own, just for completeness in the video. So question one, we had here uh, six clubs in the 2011-10-11 season at the Premier League, annual salary of the highest player, highest paid player, and the number of points scored by the team. Use a suitable formula to calculate the product, moment, correlation, coefficient, R between X and Y. So this is all given on the formula sheet. Um, you've got the formulas for this. So we need to work out, we know we need to work out S, X, Y, which is sigma X, Y minus sigma X, sigma Y over N. So that is 2, 3, 1, 3.9 minus 3, what was it, 33.7 times 410 divided by 6, and that gives you 166 over 15. We then also have SXX to work out. Sigma x squared minus sigma x squared over n. That gives you 200.39 minus 33.7 squared over 6, which is 1333 over 120. And the final thing to work out for this is S1y, sigma y squared minus sigma y, when you square it, over n, which gives us 28314 minus 410 squared over 6, giving you a total of 892 over 3. So the value of R, the product moment correlation coefficient, SXY, over the square root of SXX, SYY, is 166 over 15, that first figure up there, divided by the square root of what are the other two, 1333 3, 3 over 120, times 8, 9, 2 over 3. So we're going to carefully throw that into the calculator and get a value of 0 0.193, three figures. Notice we're starting off on the right foot with this, um, this is S1, so every single answer should be three significant figures unless you're directly told otherwise. Um, you won't get the mark if it's less than three. So what does it say? Um, and notice here, state what this value says in this context. So quite a few of my students at this point when we did this as a mock exam, then says 0.193 shows there is very little correlation. So what? That is no good, because that's not in context. It's got to be in context. So there is only a slight positive correlation. But we've got to get the context in. So between, uh, and what was it? It was between annual salary of the highest paid player context in at the end. Without the context, it's no good at all. Um, part three says, a fan suggests that the data should be used to draw a regression line in order to estimate the number of points that would be scored by another Premier League club whose highest, payers, highest paid player salary is 1.7 million. Give two reasons why such an estimate would be unlikely to be reliable. So the two reasons that I gave, firstly, the correlation is weak, so any regression line that we draw isn't going to be of any great value at all, there's no significant relationship. And secondly, 1.7 million, where if you look at the table, the smallest value in our table is 3.6 million, so 1.7 million is outside the range of known values. So it's not close to the line, it's extrapolation. OK, 
Okay? I think they're the two obvious answers. Um, they did also accept for that, that it's a very small sample uh, of the top six clubs. So that would be a third possible reason. There we go. And that's question one, and that's maths. I'll do it myself. There's nobody else here.